Uh, so, okay, let's move on to Sucheta Akreya, first generation entrepreneur, thought pruner, so as to say, with innovation and concept, founder, Baby Prince, managing director at Soya Enterprises, on board with three women entrepreneurs associations at Maharashtra, Taramana, and Pan India, a business strategies, result oriented, data, persuasion, determination, self motivated international speaker, a proud mother of two daughters. Today, she will actually discuss on cooperatives for sustainable fashion. Let's welcome Sucheta Aquaria, co founder. Sokia Enterprises, Country Chairperson, Global Alliances for Sustainable Fashion India. So Cheta, over to you. Thank you so much, Don, for such a wonderful introduction of mine. Uh, thank you, GCPIT, for giving me this opportunity to talk on uh, the sustainable fashion and cooperatives. Good, mo good, uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this might be a coincidence or planned. We are discussing this meet just around after the completion of the G20 summit and more importantly, after India took over as a presidency of G20. Leaders of these countries committed support to strong, sustainable, balanced and inclusive growth. Now that for me is the foundation for this, this topic, cooperatives in sustainable fashion. Let me tell you about what exactly we do. I'm Sucheta Acharya. Uh, founder of Baby Prints, uh, Managing Director, CEO at Sokya Enterprises. Uh, we are baby apparels and furnishings manufacturing company. It specializes in using the natural fibers as its core raw material. We prefer procuring the fibers, uh, fabrics directly from the weavers. We use uh, natural colors to design our fabrics through hand block printing and hand screen printing. We are a zero wastage company, which puts us in front row when we talk about the operation excellence. And lastly, at our production house, we employ women and most of them are single mothers, which is actually most neglected as well as in need part of the society. Now, frankly, we're trying to address two very challenging areas here, sustainability and cooperatives under a single theme and that too on fashion which again is sort of well debated. But the good thing is all are related to socially responsible outcomes. Sustainability and global concerns on the climate change are broadly discussed topics and therefore I need not re-emphasize on them. But what should concern us is how much we are, I mean the textile industry is part of the problem and what we can do about this. In today's fast-paced consumerism, fashion has very little life. What is fat today is rather old tomorrow. Clothing fats come and go at astounding speed. We have to accept, live, and perhaps stuck along with this fast evolving fashion. Now, textile industry is already seen as a bad boy in the room and a primary targets of the champion for the sustainability. The challenge though is how to we ensure that in textile industry, which is already bracketed as the second largest polluter, can be part of the solution. The very step or very first step is to rigorously and actively promote low carbon footprint alternative fibers. Well, begin at the raw material stage itself. Any such material should be promoted as a new fashion as compared to the first while polluting fiber. Secondly, implement the environment friendly production process have targeted reduction in use of chemicals during the natural production process thirdly responsible handling of the wastewater which is one of the biggest concern in textile industry and lastly being a labor intensive industry steps to improve the working conditions health and hygiene of the workers will also be the key to achieve the sustainable production now the conversation around the sustainability needs to, needs to expand beyond the fibers and fabrics that make the garments to the very structure of the companies which, which cultivate, create, and produce the fashion. For long-term and comprehensive solution, there is a need for the socially responsible organization structures to lead the revolution. And that is where the cooperative structure comes into the picture. 
Recently, the Indian Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has laid out the vision of prosperity through cooperatives, Sahakar Se Samriddhi, and a separate ministry at the central government to organize and regulate the cooperatives. Now, this big initiative shows the role and importance of the cooperatives in industry, Indian industry as a whole. A cooperative society, as we know, is to put simply, is a voluntary association of the individuals having common needs to achieve the economic goals, common economic goals. Now, when these societies first came up, the sole objective was to serve the interest of the poorer sections of the society through the principles of self-help and mutual help. The principles of cooperative often stand for the democracy, equality, and solidarity. Now, for example, most of the agricultural productions like cotton, jute, banana, and other natural fibers uh, is done by small farmers, and even up to the ginning of the fiber is done at the local level. When carried by the individual farmers, often we see the individual farmers competing amongst themselves and being exploited by the traders, resulting in low earnings and product losses and weak bargaining powers, among others. Now, to respond to these challenges, the farmer, farmers have established producer cooperatives, allowing them, their members to benefit the economies of the scale in accessing the inputs and the marketing produce products, sharing the equipment, land and space, and establishing the collective voice for increased bargaining power in the uh, market resulting in the socio-economic good. Similarly, in the textile production, the product producer cooperatives of artisans are involved in weaving and spinning of the textile of the markets. At least in Indian, Indian scenario, we have established cooperatives at traditional of the traditional weavers almost in each state, which actually helps the weavers to fulfill their socio-economic needs. In apparel production, though it is primarily the worker cooperatives are usually invisible in a fragmented network of the in, in, intermediaries, the subcontracted factories are outsourcing to them. Now, home-based workers have been forming the cooperatives to benefit from the so social and uh, economies of the scale in accessing the fin finances and negotiating better rates, per piece rates from the intermediaries. The fact that the cooperative is owned and controlled by its members or owners allow the worker members to participate in decision-making, to interact with the authorities, to solve the challenges that informal workers face, such as infrastructure or transportation. Therefore, the primary advantage of adopting the cooperative structure is to derive the economies of the scale and bargaining power to get the returns to the small holding farmers and therefore a social good. Now, success stories of Casa Flor of uh, Women Weavers Cooperative, uh, Watermill or Seva from uh, India should motivate us to uh, take this particular mission forward. Now, the best example is the British retailer John Levis is based on cooperatives. Now, we all must recognize that cooperatives is the sustainable fashion. In sustainable fashion is a immediate need of an hour and can be worked upon to achieve the social goals. So can we resolve each enterprise sets a target to reach at least 50% of the alternative fiber by 2025 and take the credible action. Secondly, towards this, we set up a support of cooperatives and source the raw material or semi-finished goods and be the champion of the social cause. Thirdly, the fashion brands to come up uh, for such certification of the sustainability. And fourthly, we have a definite range of the fashion that support the cooperatives and the sustainability. Now, since all of us are end consumers here of the fashion, concrete and definite actions, sorry, concrete and definite actions are need of the art. And I'm sure actually you all agree to this part of this much needed revolution. Thank you so much. Thank you again, GCPIT, for giving me such a wonderful opportunity. Over to you, Dawn. Thank you so much, Sujeta. Thank you so much for sharing with us. We have gained much insights in sustainable fashion today. Thank you so much. Yeah.